hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is kiana and in today's video i'm going to share with you how i'm going to be studying for my p exam in less than eight weeks so before i even get into the video you might be wondering wow kiana like you look so nice why are you serving us like this all the time well i decided if I'm going to take this career as a YouTuber seriously, then maybe I should start looking a bit more presentable on the internet because in a few years to come, I'm going to get kind of pissed at myself when I look back and I'm like, look like shit, look like shit, look like shit, look like shit. So you're welcome in advance. Um, anyways, back to what you're really here for. So like I said in the disclaimer, I'm familiar with this content, which is why this might work for me. Um, and I will disclaim right now as well, even though I said I took P before, I'm not really familiar with the content because I didn't actually study for my exam. <laughs> um, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> but yeah, so this is me still taking it from scratch, but I just want to let you guys know, like I've seen it before. So some things, this is why like maybe the study schedule will be a bit raced up or like sped up because I can manage that. So with that said, let's get into the video. So before I get into the exact breakdown of my studying, I will share some information behind the whole P exam. First of all, recommended study hours is usually nine to 12 weeks. And of course, as the title says, I'll be taking it in under eight weeks. And if we're being specific, today is May 25th, Monday, May 25th, and I have 52 days until my exam. My exam is July 16th at 8 a.m. With that said, it's not really about the amount of weeks, it's more about how many hours are you putting in along with how quickly can you grasp these new concepts or these concepts if you're familiar with them. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that clear as I said so that no one thinks like, oh, like, Kiana Byfield told me like I can do this in eight weeks or less, so. You know, like I'm not saying that. So anyways, let's move on. Also, I think if I'm being very honest, like I think I do know a lot of people that, that have done this exam in under eight weeks. I don't think this is anything new, but I'm just saying all this because I know guidelines is like 12 weeks and I don't want to let anyone think that it should be less than 12. And then you hear that I'm spreading false information on the internet, so. <laughs> okay, so now that all the disclaimers are made, um, let's dive into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, I will be using Coaching Actuaries as my exam resource. Um, I don't like ASM and Coaching Actuaries is just easy, simplified, everything's laid out. Like, I just, it's top tier, okay? It's top tier. I just like it better. So. so, Coaching Actuaries recommends that you spend 30 days of your practice session practicing. Although usually now, as I said before, like I'm doing it in a short or recommended time span, I will be dividing my study plan into two segments. I have my review and I have my practice. And if you also are familiar with coaching actuaries, the review section, which is where you're spending to learn all the stuff, like learn all the material, that's called phase one. Phase two is when you start doing just drilling quizzes, drilling questions, exams, etc. Coaching Actuaries recommends that you take 30 days to do phase two. Um, and I, I agree with that. Even though I'm not in the recommended time span, I agree that that is best for me um, because that's also like, you have to tailor that to how well you learn. I know some people, they spend more time reviewing the material and making sure they have the concept down. I learn by just like doing questions over and over again. So that means, with that being said, I told you guys earlier, I have 52 days left for my exam or until my exam. So I will be spending 22 days to review and 30 days to practice. So with all this said, you guys know my exam is July 16th. So I will begin phase two on June 16th, which means I need to finish phase one on June 15th. So you'll see me write some deadlines in there. I have May 28th written, as the end of chapter one deadline, June 5th as the end of chapter two deadline, June 11th as end of chapter three deadline, and June 15th as end of chapter four deadline. Now these deadlines, what do I mean by that? That deadline doesn't mean I'm gonna spend, for example, May 25th to May 28th on chapter one. It means that I need to get chapter one done before May 28th. So. It means that if I could finish chapter one 
by let's say this is not gonna happen <laughs> but let's say i could finish chapter one by may 26th right then that means i would start chapter two may 27th and so on and so forth so these deadlines just mean it's the cutoff point like by then kiana you should be done you know good okay okay so you're gonna also see me filling in this calendar with a few things called quiz days i highly recommend especially if you're rushing like me do quizzes while you're in this study period now there are two structures that i could that i can offer to you or like suggest to you on how to organize your quiz days or whatever option one on certain days of the week you pick a day i'm going to be picking tuesdays and saturdays but you don't have to pick two days you can pick one day you can pick two you can pick three choose some days choose a quiz day remember i said to you quiz days are tuesdays and saturdays for me personally now the tuesday may 26th it's clear that i'm not going to be finished chapter one by tuesday may 26th right so on that quiz day what is it that i'm going to do let's say i finish chapter one has chapter one is broken down into subsections right so let's say i'm halfway through chapter one then on that quiz day tuesday may 26th i'm gonna do a bunch of quizzes on anything based on what i've learned so far with that said moving on quiz day number two that's gonna be saturday may 30th by then i'll be finished chapter one but i'll probably be like just getting into chapter two what am i going to do for my quiz day i'm going to do questions relating to chapter one and bits of chapter two so i'm just gonna keep compiling the next quiz day the following week that's gonna be june 2nd what am i going to do i'm going to do chapter one and everything i've done up to chapter two what am i going to do you know and it goes on so on so forth i'm just going to keep reviewing Another a little note on that, you don't necessarily have to spend quiz days doing only quizzes. For me, it's just make sure I'm comfortable with the material, but you could have chosen to just study. You could do two quizzes and continue studying, you know, just do what works for you. It's also based on progress, you know, but I just think it's important to review as you go. Option two. You could do your quiz days at the end of a chapter. I don't, this is not my favorite method, but it is an option. So let's say my deadline was May 28th. That means on either May 28th or May 29th, I'm going to schedule that day as a quiz day for everything related to chapter one. And then the next day, my chapter two deadline is June 5th. So that would mean that on June 5th or June 6th, whichever day you would want to pick, I would spend that day dedicated to just quizzes on chapter two only or quizzes on chapter one to two because if you want to compile but again I just think it's better to go with option one do regular quiz days throughout and make sure you're always familiar and revising it helps to digest the information better I think it's the most effective structure it's the best way to go and so with the combination of all these quiz days and like you know, days that I will spend to study and learn the material, that is how I'm going to go through phase one. I think it's solid. I think it'll work. I did this for exam FM. I passed. I'm going to do that. And I know some of you might think it's a little bit complicated and like I'm overthinking. But for me, I am someone known to procrastinate all the time. And whenever I procrastinate, I set detailed outlines as to how i'm going to go about it another thing i should note is that you know these are just like outlines and guidelines like it's not strict or rigid like if things happen and you say you can't finish by one deadline or whatever extend it but you need to be accountable for me again i'm saying like i'm cramming this is essentially cramming for me because i work during the day i work nine to five like even this schedule is a lot because this means that I'm going to be spending a lot of time after work doing more work, you know, but you have to find something that works for you. So phase two, honestly, there's not much to phase two besides just doing exams, 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 and quizzes and quizzes and questions and questions and constantly reviewing things you don't really understand. You see those things where they say if you get a question wrong spend some time doing it over and over and over again that's what you need to do let's say for example you keep getting questions related to section 4.1 wrong you need to take some time and maybe spend days within that phase two period and just work on the things that you don't know that's how you're gonna develop your skills and yeah like that's pretty much it like i said phase two it's very like you just have to work on your schedule as much as i want to say like i'd love to do an exam a day or ex two exams a day i know i won't have that time like 
I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing work, I'm doing um, things for unreserved. Like I have a lot going on. And you know, I might you might say like, well, why aren't you just going to prioritize this? Like, I don't know, like I'm not. Like I just, I'm just going to fit it into my schedule because I know I don't need to like lock it down. Like I'll, I think I'll be fine regardless. Yeah, so this is basically what I have for you guys. And I will recommend some other material, some other study material that people have recommended to me. And um, I just know other people use. So yeah, um, so that's my study guide. That's how I'm going to be studying for my exam. I know, like I said, some of you might think it's like, oh, she's putting in so much effort. Like, it's not that deep. Well, I'm not going to fail this exam again. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to guarantee that I pass that exam because I literally will just fight if I, if I fail. If I fail, I'm literally, I remember when I failed, I've actually failed two exams in my life. I've taken FM and failed. I've taken P and failed. But I, did, I went into both of those exams thinking, oh, like I can pull this off in four weeks. Like the very first time I took FM and I failed, I, I think I only studied for three weeks religiously. Like I was barely doing anything. When I took P, I, I didn't even, I haven't even read chapter three of P. You know, like that just shows you I did not study. And you can just imagine how relieved I was when they canceled that exam because I would have failed and wasted my money anyways. So, you know, I'm just taking this more seriously. Like, I think taking my internship has shown me that, you know, I'm actually interested in being in this field. And so I'm actually interested in passing these exams so I can make sure I'm more likely to get a job and stuff like that. Like, I wasn't always the best student. So I tried to build my skills where I can. I tried to network. I tried to, you know what, I can put this in another video, advice for mediocre students um if you guys want some of that information i can definitely share that because i am one of those okay so yeah i hope this helps anyone like i said this is just the way i'm going to go about it and if i change it i'm gonna start be doing i'm gonna start doing vlogs more often so hopefully you know you'll see some progress and i'll give an updated guide or blah 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 yeah who knows but yes, thank you to everyone that watched this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it helped. Um, comment down below if if it helped or if you like it or if you think so, it's excessive. Okay, don't comment that because that's kind of, it's not going to help. It's not constructive. But give me some constructive advice down below, like anything that you think can help my stages. Like I'm just here sharing with you guys. I'm not telling you how to do it. So yeah so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe that is what a thumbs up is kiana okay share with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one so yeah uh thanks for every so yeah i hope this helps anyone so yeah i hope this hope so yeah I hope... <laughs> why can't i get this part Thank you.